we're going to release the greater trochanter and its attachments. So what I'm going to be doing is with my elbow, I'm going to be gliding around the top part of the greater trochanter in a small circular movement. Once again, we're at bony attachments here, so we want to release some of this deeper structure. So it's going to kind of look like this. So the gliding around the greater trochanter in a small circular movement. Now, how do you know which way to go, right side or left side? Well, the best example is actually to look at the ear and go in that positioning. So you're just going to go around the greater, greater trochanter. That position. Okay, so we've landmarked the greater trochanter. I'm gently placing my elbow along the side of it. So I'm gently placing my elbow along the side of the greater trochanter. And I'm gliding around that bone just softly and slowly. And this can be very tender for people. It's an excellent move to get some of these deeper tissues to release. Repeat that two or three times. Each time you can sink in a little bit deeper, but make sure that you're keeping in contact with your client. Make sure everybody's breathing. As far as movement goes, you can actually have the client do a little bit of anterior, posterior pelvic tilting. Another move you can do though, is to just to educate your client on just pressing out gently with the knee. So Paul, just press out with your knee and just let your, let your leg relax. It's almost like you're trying to make your knee lengthen, just softly and slowly. So that's going to take this tissue and that motion as I'm taken in the opposite direction. And relax. 